All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is create um, a hatch or a fill pattern. Um, and so under create, you have a masking region and a filled region. And so I'm just going to go to filled region here. And it's going to bring up in the type dialog box a uh, filled region number one. So again, you should see a pattern here. I'm going to go to edit type. And it has a diagonal crosshatch fill pattern in black, right? And so if I go to the pull down, there's not any more, so I'm just going to, um, I'm not really going to use a diagonal crosshatch. I'm just going to rename this one, and I'll, I'll name it um, solid, solid Black, okay, and click OK. And f instead of the foreground fill pattern being diagonal crosshatch, I can come to this and select Solid Fill and click OK and click OK. And now what it wants me to do is to draw a closed area for this to fill. So I'll just go to the rectangle and come here and draw in, right? And it's giving me this very weird size over here, but um, I'll go ahead and let's go ahead and pull it up here and click. And what you can do is you can come in and change the size of it using the listing dimensions, right? So if I want that to be 2.5 inches, right? Hit enter. Um, then that will make sort of a square there. And then if I window around everything, I can then move it from that point to that point and sort of get it there. And then once I hit the big green check here, I'm kind of in a sketch mode. I'm just managing the outline. But once I do that, then it fills it. Okay. Not super attractive, right? So maybe we want to make the, um, the sheet number, maybe we move all this up and let the uh, let the sheet number be there and maybe it's centered right somewhere in there and maybe right that becomes centered right um, and then this guy maybe gets moved up right but not right there and we probably want to adjust this text so let's edit type for that guy and Let's go ahead and make it bold. And instead of black, let's make it white. And instead of the background being opaque, we'll make it transparent. All right. And we'll click OK. And let's see. So it's still not showing through, right? It's there, but it's not showing through. One thing is that when you make things, it's kind of like AutoCAD. When you make things white, it makes it black. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select that guy. And let's go to Edit Type. And instead of white, let's do this. Let's make it slightly off-white, right? and then click OK and apply and let's click OK and that will work. And so now I've got kind of this um, thing set here. I could also come in here and if I wanted to, you know, uh, create another line. So I'm going to create a line and I'm going to use that wide gray line and maybe I, you know, sort of block this guy in with that. And then maybe up top we do the same thing. So create a line. So you can kind of get the feel. What you really should be doing is designing a title block. And this would really be your logo up here, um, kind of like we talked about before. I showed you some examples of that. Um, and then you would start to fill in the other parts of your title block, right? Like your uh, firm name and address, um, if you have consultants, all that kind of stuff that we talked about before the project title. So um, all that's pretty straightforward at this point. So like if I go to create um, and I go to label and I'm just going to pick here, look at the options you have for label, right? So if you go down to the project, you have project name, project issue date, project address, project number, all that kind of stuff, status. So look through here and see what you can use. And if it's if what you need is not here, um, talk to me, or it might just be text. It might not change over time. So um, once you get the title block finished, go ahead and save it. And then um, 
you can actually place it into a project. So I'll just start a new project. I'll just go to File and New Project and I'll start a blank one from the architectural template. And I'm just going to go back to my family and I'm going to load that into project. So it loads it in and it says I can't create element in this view. It only can create a title block in a sheet, not in a view. So what you can do is it's loaded it in here. So if I go to my families and go down to and open up the annotation symbols, you'll see if I go down to title block, it's in here, right? So what I can do now is I'll close the families up so it's not so is I can go to my sheets and right click and go to new sheet and place that title block on my new sheet. And so now I have a new sheet, right? A101 unnamed, okay? And so I could come in and, and change this to A100, right? And click OK. And now that guy will go up. It doesn't have a scale on here yet because I haven't placed a view, but if I pull level one on, even though there's not a drawing here, that view is set to eighth of an inch, so it'll start to read it. And then I can just come in here and change the issue date too. And it will update, and then if I add any more sheets, so if I go to New Sheet, click OK, it'll want to sort of keep going in order, right? So if I go to New Sheet, Click OK. It'll do 102, 101, 102, 101, and now I have three sheets ready to pull um, drawings onto, views onto. So um, that all should get you started. So work, you know, just consider the title block a work in progress.